Hey guys, uh, Matt here with a short clip I threw together of the 3D cockpit add-on uh, modeling for the uh, RV-10 and X-Plane. Uh, modeling it after the RV-10 we are currently building. Uh, what's a simulator add-on? Well, when you buy a simulator software program at the store, in this case I'm using X-Plane, and install it, you'll find that the base installation contains only a few aircraft and very limited detailed scenery objects. So to make the simulator more realistic, or to fly a particular airplane not included with the store-bought program, uh, people create their own aircraft, virtual cockpits or scenery, upload them to a website and make them available for the public so that uh, you can then add them to the base pack installation of the simulator. There's a bunch of websites on the net where you can download different aircraft or scenery, install them, and then uh, you'll show up in your simulator. So, that said, I am making a 3D virtual cockpit uh, that I'm going to add to the RV-10 body that uh, came with X-Plane. I'll open the default RV and plane maker here and show you just how basic it is. Uh, as you can see, there's not much to it. Uh, just a basic aircraft shape with no textures applied. Uh, that is, no paint job or anything yet. Uh, and a basic airfoil, which uh, you can modify in plane maker to change the flight characteristics and make it more realistic. When you open default 10 and X plane, the instrument panel is a very basic two dimensional bitmap image with uh, just a few gauges added to it. It's pretty dull. No interior views when you look around. Uh, when you enter virtual cockpit mode, uh, this is what you see. Not a, not even the aircraft itself is visible. So I decided to work, rework the entire aircraft to a paint job, virtual cockpit, and a few other objects. Well, in order to create 3D objects to be added to the simulator, first you need 3D modeling creation software. I went online and found a program called Blender. Uh, it's a free open source uh, 3D modeling program I downloaded from blender.org. Uh, that's the program I'm using to build my cockpit. And here it is so far. Uh, modeled after Dad's RV-10 uh, interior, of course. Uh, I worked off the pictures we took of the RV for reference while I modeled the different objects. The cabin itself is about done. Got the rear seats in place. Uh, body for the overhead console is done. Front seat mounts are modeled, uh, instrument panel bases in. Zoom in here on Dad's brackets he made for his eyeball lights. Uh, starting to come together. It, uh, seats were pretty tough to make. Uh, started out by adding just a basic cylinder object and a lot of modifying. was able to come up with a shape I could live with. But, uh, I'll select the seat cushion here, tab into editing mode, and uh, zoom in on it so you can check out the mesh. Uh, pretty neat how you can start off with a basic cylinder and model it to any shape you want. But, uh, pretty complicated mesh for the seats. Uh, lots of vertices uh, to get the resolution I needed for a nice rounded appearance. Blender has a lot of cool tools to make the object easier too. Uh, you can resize objects uh, any size you want. Uh, you can rotate uh, around any axis. Uh, you can just grab it, move it around, place it wherever you want to. Uh, you can duplicate, extrude, mirror, copy, things like that. And once you learn the interface, it doesn't take too long for your modeling some pretty decent uh, looking stuff. But uh, So far, so good. The cabin profile still needs some work, but it's not something you're going to see from inside the virtual cockpit when you're flying. So well, I'll zoom in on the front seat mounts here and uh, pick out a screw. Uh, modeling something as simple as a Phillips head screw can be harder than the cabin itself, actually. Uh, lots of resizing and rotating to end up with a decent shape. Uh, pretty wild looking mesh for just a screw. And of course you can move it around the 3D space to see it from all angles. Uh, you can select uh, individual vertices from the mesh and manipulate them uh, independently if you need to. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'll zoom back out here and I'm going to switch to another layer where I have the RV-10 placed that I imported from X-Plane. Uh, I had to import the airplane into Blender so I could model the 3D cockpit to fit the dimensions of the fuselage. And in wireframe mode, you can see now how I've done that. Uh, using different layers for separate objects is nice because when you don't need to see the airplane, you can just move it to another layer see what you're working on better. Uh, Blender has 20 different layers available <laughs> you can use if you need to. Back to solid mode, uh, added common nav antennas to the plane as well. Uh, got a modifier of the lower cowling too. Uh, 
uh, Cowling to include the air intake. The next plane left off the plane uh, for some reason. Now I'll switch into texture mode here where you can view the textures uh, that you've added to the objects. Any texture so far that I've added is part of the panel texture. Uh, I cut the textures from a picture that Dad took of his panel and used uh, Blender's UV image editing tool to apply them to the panel uh, object I built. Uh, and when I export the RV back into X-Plane, I can use Plane Maker's panel builder to place gauges on Dad's panel texture wherever I want it to appear in the simulator. And after you have everything positioned back to center, you can save your work as a blend file then export it as an X-Plane object to your aircraft folder in the X-Plane director. Now I'll switch back to Plane Maker, choose Open Aircraft File, and drill down to my RV-10 aircraft folder. Uh, select our newly created aircraft file uh, and open it in Plane Maker. Here's our new airplane, complete with the virtual cockpit we just added. Pretty cool. Uh, I already applied the texture for the plane and added transparency to the windows. I'm not going to bore you with that process right now, but uh, quite a difference from the default RV-10. And You can choose wireframe mode in Plane Maker. Uh, to view the aircraft skeleton and whatever objects you've added to it. Uh, you can display the aircraft with moving control surfaces to help you edit the control surface deflections and positions. Paint job is just my variation of Dad's black over silver scheme that he devised. But, uh, once you have the aircraft back in Plane Maker, you can use the different menu options to edit certain parameters for the plane. Uh, you can set the pilot viewpoint, add and position the lights, modify the airfoil, set your weight and balance, engine thrust, control geometry, and all that. I uh, already placed some instruments on my uh, panel texture. But, uh, I won't use all these instruments. So I just kind of threw this together to test them out in X-Plane. Uh, the final panel layout will match Dad's airplane as much as possible. But, and anyway, you can select the instruments you want uh, from the list and drag and position them uh, any place you want on the panel. And uh, when you open your aircraft in X-Plane to fly it, your instruments will appear right where you position them in the, in the panel builder. When you're done editing your plane, uh, just save the new aircraft file. And now let's see how it looks in the simulator. Uh, I loaded a pre-saved in-flight situation so we could start out in the air. Uh, the body textures still need uh, fine tuning, but at least it's not a gray lump anymore. Uh, and it actually has a cockpit now. Uh, I'm not taking a hit in frame rates. Uh, so far, my cockpit's getting along with X-Plane. Uh, there's a little bleed through between the tail top cone I made and the top of the tail, but I can fix that up easy enough. Other than that, it uh, looks pretty solid. Yeah, sounds good, too. Uh, now for a little backseat ride in our new 3D cockpit. Uh, still under construction, of course. Uh, not bad. No textures added yet, but uh, you can get the idea. Should be pretty cool when I add the textures. Uh, they'll be photorealistic from pictures of Dad's interior. Uh, they should wrap around these objects pretty good. Uh, I'll also add an interior cabin light eventually. I just wanted to take an evening flight to see how the shadows rendered in the cabin. Pretty cool looking so far. Uh, I'll model the light units and coat hanger on the overhead before I texture it. Uh, okay, now for a uh, view from the front seat. Uh, and we see we have Dad's panel textures with all the instruments in place, all fully functional. Uh, got, the, uh, got the center console here. And, uh, a view of the overhead from up front. Coming along flight model seems pretty accurate. I need to get together with Dad and tune the weight and balance a little, but it's fun to fly now. It's a bit more realistic. I'll post another video when I get some more work done to it, but... Uh, Basically, that's the process for creating a 3D cockpit object uh, for X-Plane. I'll make this available as an add-on when I get it done. Uh, see ya! Thanks for watching.